our verse of the day is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Three words. Pray without ceasing. And I'm teaching on this tonight at the jail. That's one of the reasons I went ahead and chose this. I was already kind of meditating on it and praying, you know, reveal things to me. Help me walk through it, Father. And these three little words hold so much. And I actually did a teaching um, on prayer that will publish this next Sunday on the ministry page. But this one verse I want to talk about today. Now, if you take the words pray without ceasing and look at the Greek translation, pray translates as um, supplication and it is earnest supplication. And we know that supplication translates as petition. Um, so what that literally is saying is to earnestly present your petition. So the word pray here is to earnestly uh, present your petition. Without, we get without. That means don't or omitting, etc. Ceasing is um, translated, the two words together translate as uninterruptedly. And I had to practice to say that word. I just want to say that to you. But without ceasing is uninterruptedly. So to lay that out and the translation or what I call a merry phrase is to earnestly present your petition uninterruptedly. And I mean, we knew what pray without ceasing meant, but when you say it in the translation, it's like, oh yeah. So here's the thing. You can't pray every minute of every day, but you can Push your mind into a place of gratitude or uninterrupted prayer in idle moments, in idle times. You know, Jesus said, when you pray, go into your closet and do so secretly. And what the what you do in secretly, in secret, the Lord rewards openly. So he's not, this is not meaning to go about shouting praises all the time, 24 seven, and to go around with all these big words and long sentences and just keep, put yourself on repeat so that you're, you're constantly saying the same thing. No, this is having an attitude of gratitude and prayer. So that when your mind goes idle, you are giving Lord glory, counting your blessings, connecting to him with your thought life as much as anything else. But this also means in all things, pray. In all things, pray. Pray without ceasing. Um, earnestly present your petition uninterruptedly. So it's not just pray constantly, but pray consistently. Keep praying over something until you see the hand of God move. Now, you he'll, you'll hear some people teach, well, if you've asked three times and you didn't get an answer, then the answer is no. I would challenge you to show me in Scripture where it says that. Where does that show up? Where is that the truth? Well, you can't just keep praying. Why? Noah built the ark for like a hundred years. Abram became Abraham. And then Abraham and Sarah waited for Isaac how long? I mean, Jesus was promised way back in the Old Testament. When did you see him come? There was a point where, an, where, where Daniel prayed and the angel showed up and he said, we heard your prayer the day you prayed it. It's taken me 21 days to get across enemy lines to bring you the answer. Do you think the battle has ceased? Don't stop praying just because you believe the answer has shown up in not showing up. Earnestly, diligently present your petition uninterruptedly. Amen.